when we had last left the Tarnished. They were finishing up business at and around Castle Morn, where they encountered maybe the leader of the Servants' Rebellion, which they were quelling, and uh, it was some other strange, like, lion creature, and it had a cool sword. The same cool sword that some weird old dude was wanting taken care of at <laughs> at Castle Morn. He didn't want falling into the wrong hands. And uh, they took that sword, and he was happy that it was safe, and said, Tarnished, you keep it. I'm going to go check on my daughter? And she was dead! <laughs> Oh no, and he didn't say anything. He was there, stunned, forever in that same spot until the end of time. Now, they proceeded over to some other place and got their ass absolutely beat by some big, giant, fucked up thing for like half an hour or some shit like that. It was bad, it was rough. And they vowed to someday return to it. But for now, it was time to enter the area of Kaled. This is Elden Ring. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, look at this person's ram tit armor. Did you just see that? <laughs> Yo, okay. They, they like made the Skyrim hat into a breastplate. <laughs> okay. Let us warp... Oh, before I forget, we should also alter our items here. There we go. And was there anything else I needed to change? No, I think that's I think that's good. Right? Yeah. That's good. That's all we did, right? I think. Well, no, our our shoes were different, weren't they? We had the heavier duty shoes. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Let us travel on over this direction cuz we do want to look through all of this in full detail. So what's the best way to do that? But I guess over here and we'll cross the bridge. Pretty sure this is the bridge that had, oh, that the mad pumpkin head or whatever. One of the lesser ones, yeah. Okay. Let's go beat the crap out of them real fast. I think the reason why mounted combat works so well against these things is because it helps you forego the challenge of accidentally hitting their super armored hat. Could have sworn we saw someone with that hat on. You know? I would not mind having it. Oh, here's the... here's our friend. I almost... I forgot where you were. Uh, oh, I, uh, oh, didn't... Let's see, what do you have again? A short sword. Yeah, nothing really of value to us. Short sword and a halberd. Okay. Sorry, dude. I did buy from you before. Could you imagine if you bought all of their wares? Like they said something special? <laughs> no, that can't be. Especially since some of them have a few items that are, like, infinite. Like, ammunition on some of them. Get some lilies over here. What have we got this way? Anything of interest or value? Just a little cliffside to explore along. There we are. There is this waterlogged area. I can't remember if we went on up in there and explored all of that. Like, did we explore down here by these ruins as well? Fuck, now I'm beginning to forget. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did. If they're just regular, like, fallen ruins... Yeah, we can just check super fast and easy. Yeah. Okay. Unless that's something. Is this something right here? Or is this nothing? Looks like some little bears. How about down here? 
Nah, nothing. Fair enough. Looks like there's no getting back up if we go down this round. There's the old codger pointing at the, like, water area, right? Yeah. Which we had gone inside of. Basic bears right there. Okay. Fare thee well, bears. Okay. Let's check this again. There's a grave site right there. Which we may have checked already, but... Well, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Okay. Oh, look. Skeletal dudes. Too bad they are slow as shit. Okay. Let's head... Oh, yeah, we have not been here. There's a site of grace and everything. Okay. Good. There's some ruins. Let's see. Yeah, there's something up there as well. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we'll search this. Oh, what's that? I did it! Is this an enemy? Oh! Tibia Mariner. Oh god. It's Mariner Finance. They're here about my loans. This is fucking weird. <laughs> Wait. I did a knockout on it. Okay, well. Oh, it killed all of the... Oh, all of these were under its control. Death Root. Skeletal Militiaman Ashes. Okay. Let's read about some Death Root. Hell yeah. Is it a craftable? Crafting reagent? No. Skeletal militiamen. These are the spirits of militiamen who live in death, capital D, and will continue to rise again until properly finished off. This is the grotesque fate of those who come into contact with death root. Oh. Huh. Okay. So where is the standard death root? Oh, is it not a craftable? Oh, we have a chalice, I forgot. Oh, yeah. Death root. Yeah, this is the same thing that we found nearby the, um... What do you call it? The... Fucked up octopus head. Underneath Stormvale. Right. Hmm. I guess it's meant to be like a river sticks situation. What, what's the name of the, the river ferryman or whatever? I don't remember. You'd think I would remember. I played enough Hades. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Rise from your grave. That's a big nasty root. Or is it a root? What if it's part octopus? Oh no. Oh shit, that's coming to life. What do these say? Mushroom. Didn't expect mushroom. Okay. Anything else here? Is there like an interior or an underground? I don't think so. This looks like it used to be one of the churches. Hmm. What a weird ass little encounter. Try gesturing. So to speak, likely teacher. Be wary of liar. Do 
Jeez, we're getting some appraisals. Let's continue on over here. What's in this ruin? Are you all mean? Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, God. There it is. Good stuff. Okay. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Ooh, that was dangerous. Okay. <laughs> Summon Water Village. Hmm. I guess we should go down because we do have a um, Sight of Grace there to get us back. Can I actually get down from here? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Maybe down by the headstones. Jeez, it's quite steep. Okay. We should check under these crucifixions, though. Thanks for the recharge, dung beetle. Okay. Oh, it goes over that direction. And then down. I see, okay. That's some shonky business. Okay, well, let's do it. Hm, I've landed on the creature. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it got so amazed by my incredible platforming horseback abilities, it just died on the spot. It had a heart attack from seeing such an amazing feat pulled off. <laughs> Good lord, what an incredible feat of parkour. <laughs> oh, look at this person. No stone astrolabe ahead. Fevers? Fevers? Cookbook? Well, that's of interest and value. Not the sort of thing we usually find out by these. Fuck, I do not know where these things normally are. Okay. <laughs> Let's see... A record of crafting techniques left by a man who was utterly captivated by Saint Trina. He continued. It does, yeah, it doesn't say fervor. It's fever. He continued the search for her in his slumber. Acquire the knowledge to craft the following: sleep pot. Yeah, that pot that makes you sleepy. <laughs> Good. I doubt that's usable on a boss. Well, maybe there's like one boss that's usable on. The final boss. There you go. Good. Okay, well, it was definitely worthwhile coming over to this. Peculiar little place. Anything else around here that we should investigate? There's this, like, ravine. I think we looked through that, though. Hmm. Hello? Oh, there's a guy up there. Anybody there. Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. Servant to the true order Wait, Kenneth. and celebrated repudiator of the false. Oh, Ertry. Grant me sucker. I'll give you a sucker. 
Hey, Kenneth. Hello? <laughs> Is anybody there? I'm here. Someone who might be interested. Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... That's very kind, but, um... No. No, but the help is very much appreciated. Even from a tarnished. What a fucker. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me. Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave. Young Tarnished. Next in line to who? A boon of you. I a boon? I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it. A fool! And plumb mad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. Wait. I think... I... What's your castle? Hmm? What's this kind, sir? Remarkable. Hmm. The knight commander dead. Already? Well, <laughs> a blessing if ever I chanced upon one. Fine work, I say. Fine work indeed. I doubt that it was your intention, but the deed is done, and I commend you. Now, this is your reward. Go on. It's yours for the keeping. An Erd Steel Dagger. Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to reestablish communication with the Demihumans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Erd Tree, co-mingling with the Demi-Humans is made possible. <gasps> Even the Vulgar shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Under an Erd Tree, you can communicate with a different species that doesn't understand you. meaning to ask would you like to enter my service i see bright things in your future stout warrior enter into my service and learn the workings of the earth tree's true order and who knows perhaps sometime down the line the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours what say you a fine accord is it not I don't fucking know if I want to do this. This definitely seems like we're committing to something now. <sighs> no. Excuse me? Well, such foolishness have I never seen. Well, not that I can't sympathize with your choice. Such a miraculous manifestation of felicity is like to startle one such as yourself. Should you change your mind, do visit me at my fort. Okay, where is your fort? South of here? Oh, Fort Height. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay, I guess we'll put a marker down. Let's see. Do you say the same thing? Have you put your misgivings to rest? No. <laughs> good sort ahead, but seed. Is he a good sort, though? I don't know. He seems a little suspicious. Try listen carefully. I feel like I'd rather pledge my service to... <laughs> to, like, the, the fucking bad guys... <laughs> than, than some sort of noble hootenanny asshole. Sugar. Oh dear. Are these the demi-humans he was trying to establish communication with? Look, there's some shit under here that we missed. Magic grease. 
Was this like his carriage driver or something? Behold, up. Rickety shield. Okay. Well, let's take a look at that shield if there's anything important about it. A creaky old wooden shield, circular in shape, roughly reinforced with vines. There are countless other shields available of better make. This piece of scrap isn't worth the effort of equipping. What if there's some secret thing about it? What if there's some secret power that it holds? <laughs> or maybe it really is just garbage. You upgrade it to the maximum level, and as it turns out, it has, like, S scaling in every attribute. <gasps> oh, I should read about the actual dagger that dude gave me, right? I almost forgot. 14 faith requirement. Okay. D scaling on strength, dex, and faith. An Erd steel dagger with a grass crest engraved upon its blade, carried by the Erd tree royalty for self defense in times of peace. Though forged to a high standard, the weapon is difficult to wield. Attack power also scales with faith. Quick step. Okay. A little dude. Good. Have we been to this building? Yeah, that's the... Yeah, okay, that's the main church. Alright, let's warp back up here, because notice on the other side of this, there are also... graves on the exterior. Okay... I've been trying to figure out if there's a difference between medium and light rolling in this game, and I'm not sure if there is. I, like, looked up a few, like, forum or Reddit posts and stuff, trying my best to avoid any sort of actual spoilers and stuff, but... Um... It mostly seems fairly inconclusive. Oh, hey, there is actually an interior here. Ah... Imp statue. There you go. Take some of that. Precious item, oh precious item. Visions of precious item. What the fuck is it? Be wary of monstrosity. Suffering ahead. Behold, dog. This is a shelter for turtles. Didn't expect dog. Behold, I did it. Thank you, turtles. How many turtles are in here? Five, six. Now we'll be ready. If I pop open this treasure chest and someone says, How many turtles were in the last room? <laughs> Green turtle talisman. Aw. Oh. Okay. What's it do? Wow, raises stamina recovery speed. Quite good. Just like the shield. They should stack, too. I remember that's how it worked in uh, Dark Souls. There was also a shield to increase your stamina recovery in a ring. I think I remember using those for quite some time. Because I, I think stamina recovery in this, by default, is faster. Let's see. A talisman in the shape of a green turtle. Turtles are known as a nutritious ingredient. Symbolic of inexhaustible power. What the fuck? However, those who hold turtles to be wise creatures consider the practice of eating their meat to be barbarous. I, I guess I'm one of those people. They just seem so kindly. I guess maybe if you're like... really starving, sure. But I feel like I would hold off on eating a turtle for as long as I could. I will send that. 
Oh, it's another health restorer. Dung beetle. Okay. Well. Should we check this rune real quick? I don't know if we've been inside of this one. Hmm. Item. Left. Ah. Golden Rune 4. Not half bad. Okay. Back through here. Let's give him an appraisal. Very good. You deserve all 180 something of those. Or however many it was. Wow. Tree! Oh look, there's a church up there. Yeah, that. Okay. And um, look, there's the Tower of Limgrave that we had gone into. Wow, cool. Okay. And remember we had seen an entry point into that at, um, whatever city it was. When we took that weird portal. Or it wasn't a weird portal, it was a treasure chest trap, wasn't it? A different kind of portal. Okay. I think we need to go down here and check this, though. Could be something worthwhile. Oh, look. Oh, no, it's another... Yeah, it's the same dung beetle, in fact. Is there a safe way down there? I think if we get closer to the beetles area. This should be survivable. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yep. And let's get to looting these graves. <laughs> Okay. Good. All right. Just some runes. Okay. Cool. Is there an easy way back up? Or should we just warp? I think we'll just warp. There we are. Support objective, Hunter. Oh, we know about that. Someone calls you in for protection against an invader. Alright. Let's continue over here. I think we'll go after that church first. Right? Seems like a good idea. At least I think it's a church. Jeez, look at that. I swear, these trees are gonna, like, bloom or something, aren't they? Oh. This church is like... Oh. It's not in a good way. It even dismounted me automatically, I think. Oh, invaded by Anastasia Tarnished Eater. <laughs> she's gonna eat me? Oh, because she's... It's a, is this a play on... Uh, oh, what was their name before? In Dark Souls, there was an invader called, like, something Maneater or whatever. There we go. Sacred Scorpion Charm. Okay. 
Oh, let's look at this thing too. Lord Godfrey, at last, at the end of his campaign, his golden armies unvanquished and unbowed, yet finds grace lost, tattered, and faded. Hmm. Okay, well. I don't even really know who the fuck Godfrey is. <laughs> okay. So, which one did we get again? We're getting a lot of these fucking things. Hmm. What the fuck did we just pick up? I thought it was a- t oh, here we go. <laughs> Raises holy attack, but lowers damage negation. Oh, weird. A talisman carried by assassins who strike unseen. Pattern on a scorpion flat, freshly shed of its exoskeleton. Its claws seizing a heart with a blessed glow. Raises holy attack power but lowers damage negation. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if it raises it from zero as well. I doubt it. Jeez, look at this shit. Strong foe ahead, but tried dashing through. Maybe this person was one of the assassins on the Night of Black Revenge or whatever it was. And that's why they burned down their church or something? Missionary's Cookbook. Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook 14. All right. Let's have a look. Fourteen it was? Poison pot, roped poison pot, poison bone dart. Okay. Shit, and what was the other one? Maybe it was something poison related? Missionaries, wasn't it? It was either holy water pot or silver pickled foul foot. Huh. Okay. This is a church. We should actually rest here and see if we can do anything. So oh, and we need to spend our flask thing anyway. No, we can't speak with what's her butt. Okay, flasks. Increase amount. There we go. Jeez, we're up to plus five. Holy hell. Just from, like, adventuring around, too. Normally those things are, like, big rewards from bosses or whatever. At least in the past games, but in this one I guess it's just for world exploration. Finding these churches in particular. Okay. Look at that. Looks so cool at night. E, what's that? Oh, that's the archer. That's the giant archer with the, like, magic-infused bow or whatever. Yeah, we know who that is. What is that there on the left? Is that a person? Hey. What? Oh, you're one of these people who had, like, trees on your back. Except this person has something else. Bunch of rocks or something. Oh, there's a bunch of them out here. Yeah, look at them all. Okay. Sure. Oh, they still do the poison shit, though. Alright. Another one right there. Easy enough. One of them over here. May as well sneak. Oh look, there's some big fucker over there.
Good stuff. All right. Ouch! Shazbot. Okay. Now we're in Kaled. We're at the foot of the Erd Tree, though. Notice all the fucking pots. Again. What was this called before? We fought like a other creature here, didn't we? Uh, one similar to this, but this one looks extra fucked up. I guess because we're in Kaled. Okay. Well, let's drink this just in case. Erd Tree Avatar. Oh, shit. Ow, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I'm slurping, playing it safe. Ew, it like squirts out shit, too. Ooh, I'm in the squirts. Oh, right, I forgot about that shit. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Holy shit. All right, this one's actually tough. The first one was not so much. We've got Grace here, though. That's nice. Wait. Oh, it's a different time of day. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Where am I? <laughs> All right. Sugar. Oh, fuck. I gotta waste this and drink. Shit. Oh. Uh oh. Whew. Oh man. Uh oh. Ooh, just die. <laughs> Enemy felled. Wow, 9.6k. Green burst crystal tear. Flame shrouding cracked tear. Hmm. Underground tomb ahead. Really? Well done. Praise the I did it. Where did we fight the last one? I don't even remember. It was at one of the trees. Oh, look, there's shit out there. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well. There we go. Wow, one cracked pot. Jeez. I don't think the terrain was as scary as it looked. Underground tomb ahead. Yeah, I saw it. 
plump sort of head. True enough. Toxic mushroom. Okay. Well, let's head on in. Hopefully there's a sight of grace. Ah, thank goodness. Okay. Let's claim a level. Let's see. We'll put one into strength. Seems good to me. Good. Okay. Be wary of up. Oh, yeah. Beware of weak foe. Summoning pool. Anything to be wary of before we ride this thing? Looks like there's something below this one. For once. Down required ahead. Try down. Yeah, we'll do that first and foremost. Hidden path ahead. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Alright, fuck it. Shit. Oh, no, this is not good. Oh, shit. Oh, nasty. Oh, great. Oh, wait, we can actually open this one. Wow, there's stakes here, too? Okay. There was another pathway back there that we missed. I wonder what this stuff does when it builds up. Damage over time or something worse. Bug. Liar ahead. Okay. Okay. Oh. Now where are we? What are those? Crabs? Didn't expect crab. Golden Rune 4. Wait, are they coming for me? These are not peace loving crabs. Oh, there's a ladder up here. Do you think this just loops back around to the normal path you would have to take? Maybe. Either way, I do want the items. Right. Enemy ahead. Decoy ahead. Be wary of behind. go. A slurp. Glove wart. Imp head. Wolf. Is that a helmet? It is. I thought we'd seen someone wearing this. Okay. I want to wear it. <laughs> Look at my dude. Okay. Sure. I need to go back down to medium load, though. There we go. That'll do. 
Now, what's it say? Head covering made from the largely unaltered head of an impish golem. Resembling, resembling a wolf, it holds trace amounts of lupine endurance. Really? Hey, do you think uh, our, our wolf friend will say anything about this? We'll go up and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> what is that? Stop that. <laughs> I'm like you now. Sacramental bud. Look at this. Just a horrible shit stain of an area down there. It looks kind of like, um... When you buy some beef or whatever from a deli or butcher shop or whatever. And it's in that, like, foam container. And they put, like, sometimes there's, like, a little... I don't know, absorber thing at the bottom of it. This looks like the stuff that gets caught in the absorber. Oh, I can't even check my, my map right now, but I can check my inventory for the bud. Crafting material, right? Yeah. An immature bud containing fresh blood. Believed to originate long ago from a strain of buds cultivated with youthful sacramental blood. Ugh. An Aeonian butterfly. Okay. Glove Gravewort 5. Gravewort. Or Glovewort 3. 4. Oh, look. Hey, here we are. Okay. So it does loop around. Let's check this path. Fuck off. Alright. Don't give up, skeleton. Glove, or grave glove wort. Three. There's a door or lever. I wonder what the hell this opens. Because that other door had an opening, didn't it? Like, it had an open prompt, but maybe if you tried to, it would do nothing. Yeah, maybe that's it. Okay. Well, at least there's one of these in the game. <laughs> Wait, does this actually lead somewhere? No, yeah, they just... Okay, so that is the main point of progress is to go under there. I see. Slipping. Okay. I think there was another passageway here that we missed. To the right? Yeah. Unless this is... Yeah, I think we just... Yeah, we'd gone here. This is the crabs. Okay. Waiting here. Get it to time out a bit. Yep. Okay. <sighs> get through that. Alright. I think we've checked everything then. We are at stake. It's all good. Time for sorcery. Dog. Oh, is it another watchdog? Or maybe it's just a turtle. We'll never know. I'm gonna take my buff. I still need to check those other new buffs that we got, huh? Yep, it's one of these. Oh! Scepter and sword, two of them. And they're both three-headed. Well, this is going to be a nightmare. Oh, shit! Get the fuck away! Oh, 
Jesus. Jeez, 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 get me out of that murder zone. Slurping, playing it safe. Jeez, dude. There we go. Now it's significantly easier. Oh, I fucked up the timing. Slurping. Uh oh. I'm going to play it safe. Gotcha. Whew. Toughest one of them yet. Mad pumpkin head ashes. Oh. Okay. Root resin. I did it. Well done. I want to go home. <laughs> Well, that was pretty wild. I think that was our first double encounter of a fight. Let's see. Let's travel back to our old friend and sell off some shit so we can get a level, right? Let's see here. Good, good, good. Use gestures from the main menu to perform a variety of poses, I think. Alright, so what do we need to level? 15.7. Okay. Ah, always a pleasure. Sell. And... Let's see. Perfect. Goodbye. Great. All right. And then let's level up. Put a point into strength, I think. Yep. Excellent. And let us. Hmm. Let's see. What do these other things do that we've got? Green burst crystal. Boost stamina recovery speed. Temporarily boosts fire attacks. Hmm. I wonder if there's one that boosts physical. Okay. Well, let us read about them, I think. And the pumpkin head, right? Used to summon the spirit of a mad pumpkin head. Spirit of a mad soldier with a large, brawny physique. Though he has stifled his panic within the dark confines of his helmet, he rampages as if driven mad when agitated by bloodshed or the humming of insects. Insects. This mad soldier is all that is left of a broken gladiator. I wonder if they're made to like be fearful of humming insects because of, like, I don't know. What happened to our wizard lord? Maybe they're, they're terrified of it. Yeah, they're so scared that they put the pumpkin head thing on them. Seems awful. Okay. 
And how about the other shit that we've got? Oh, yeah, it's fairly... Fairly mundane. Okay. Nothing interesting. Alright, well... Holy shit, I guess when next we come back... <laughs> this fucking fun hat. Uh, when next we come back, we'll continue searching over yonder, over this way. Right? We've checked out a minor Erd tree, we need to circle back around. Perhaps. I don't think there's anything else over this way. But just in case, we'll... We'll do a once-over real quick. And then we'll head over here. Um, somehow we need to get up on onto this. I'm not sure how navigating this will work. But this is definitely like a mine or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>